Pásame toda la noche No nos queda mucho tiempo más No quiero perder lo que queda Seguimos siempre la pasión Y confiamos solo en el amor No quiero perder lo que queda Y en más y en más
Hi, this is Mark Klein and this channel was created for you to stay inspired and motivated for your journey to success. I hope these visualizations help you stay focused on your goal and that you watch these videos because you know there is something special within you. Today's bonus clip is a list of free life rules by Gary Vaynerchuk. Number one, execute your ideas. My assistant's got a great thing now in this. Once in every four months, somebody sends an email saying, I've got a huge startup that I want you to invest in, but you've got to sign this NDA, right? Which literally every time gets an email back that says, Fuck you, right? <laughs> and, and the reason is, I'm a humongous believer that ideas are shit and that execution's the game, right? We've all got ideas. Everybody's got ideas. Do you mean ideas we all have here, we could probably sit here for the next two hours, draw them all out, record them, and predict the next 78 great startups over the next nine years. And So I think the thing that is another theme in entrepreneurship is there is way too much fodder brought to the idea. Uber was Magic Cab three years earlier. Uber is not an idea. Uber existed. It's called Magic Cab. But the guys that executed it sucked. So they lost. So I think, you know, if there's any level of romance left in this room about your idea, I'd like to suffocate it. Because I think the actual situation is what you actually do with it. Number two, don't overlook storytelling. That. You know, the reason I feel storytelling is the most underrated uh, skill in business is because it doesn't get talked about a whole lot. And I don't think that people realize it's happening when it's happening. And most of all, I don't think that many people are really good at it. So like when I watch a Steve Jobs keynote about a new product, I don't care about the new tech. I don't care about the iPad or the iPhone. I cared about the way he was presenting it. You know, when, when I see David Blaine, this is a magician. If you ever pay attention to what he's doing, he's storytelling you the whole way and then it's the big kick. So if you understand what the consumer wants, then you backtrack and you tell the story to get them emotionally there, that's how things sell. That's marketing. There's a very big difference between marketing and sales. And so the reason I think that people are missing why things succeed is because of storytelling. And I think it's overlooked. I think people look at the X's and O's and the black and the white, but I think storytelling, when done right, takes a product that should have sold a hundred million dollars worth of stuff and it sells a billion dollars. And number three, stick to your DNA. Ability to adjust is the entire game. Like I'm so proud that I, change my mind every day. My dad used to get so pissed when I was building Wine Library. He would always be like, F he's like, he would say like, three months ago you said Ricky was gonna be the best employee. I'm like, I changed my mind. He should fire him. Or, or he's like, you said sparkling wine was important, now you just eliminated it from the key spot. I'm like, I changed my mind. Like, my ability to only be comfortable in massive chaos has been my biggest asset as an entrepreneur. Like, I would never take a note. Like that scares the piss out of me what these three people are doing right now, right? And so, now, 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 that may work for them and I'm not, t like, back to the opening statement, like, you need to do you. Like, some, plenty of people that make a load more money than me and one bigger take notes. The key, the key though, the key is way too many people are doing, like, here's a good one. You know what really pissed me the off? I'm completely driven by like happiness and like I'm crippled by like chaos. Like, you know, VaynerMedia, which is now 500 people, update your <laughs> <shit>. um, 
VaynerMedia is like completely dictated by, like I'm a dictator of HR. Like all I care about is the atmosphere. All I care about is how people, intern. All I care about is like how people roll. Like I, I think I fired the four most talented, smartest people that have worked for me because if you don't know how to play with the other boys and girls, you're out because I suffocate under, you know, conflict and negativity and like nobody's better than me so you, you gotta go. So <laughs> what really pissed me off in tech world was when S- Steve Jobs' book came out when he was dying, when it was all about Steve three or four years ago. I literally watched a lot of my tech startup friends start being like a d- to their staff because Jobs was tough. Everybody fell into the romance of like I have this big vision and I'm gonna be a d- like Steve, right? And I thought that was really interesting for me to watch that half decade of like literally watching people I know and then watching them act differently because the status or the icon of the moment and you see a lot of that. And so like that is probably the energy I'm trying to bring to this class today which is you can look at like how people roll and like it's great to admire and things of that nature but it's so damn important to stick to like your DNA, right? And like what you're good at and to recognize that you need to surround yourself, whether it's your co-founder or whether it's the people that work for you. Like all I do is hire the people that are the opposite of me, that bring the other value, that bring me the ability to remember what the fuck that meeting was about and go make sure it happens. You know, like whatever it may be, right? And so I think that's another thing that I would highlight. If you promise to take action after watching these videos, please comment hashtag motivation down in the comment section below. Like this video, manifest your dreams and get to work.